Hello world and welcome. Today I'm going to talk how you can use um, different uh, GUIs in uh, Jupyter Notebook, especially if you are doing some data preparation. My name is Harris and let's get started. So for more content or more uh, tutorials like this, um, make sure to hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. So first, I'm first of all, I'm going to show you what you can do in the Jupyter Notebook. And afterwards, there's also a nice um, GUI framework which you can use in JupyterLab. And um, therefore, I'm starting with the normal Pandas view, which you have. So for instance, if you are um, importing some data from like a CSV file or Excel, file or something like this, um, then you can just uh, preview the data by um, printing the data frame. And um, this looks like this, that you have a nice um, data frame, but if you uh, think about it and you want to you know, do some filtering or something like this, it's a little bit not so handy. So that's why you could use also some um, GUIs, which are, um, there to make the data preparation, the data filtering and so on a little bit easier. And that's why we have, I'm going to show you some of the best um, available open source uh, GUIs, um, which can make you the life much more easier. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is um, detail. Um, so it's also some kind of preview of data, a little bit more nicely um, previewed. As you can see here, you can uh, set uh, some filters like I did. I was um, changing the filter um, to um, other value, which you can see here if I'm filtering out, um, then you can see a difference. Uh, you can, um, um, change the sorting, you can um, put it to descent or ascent as you wish. Um, you can basically, you know, um, preview the data, you can format it. Um, and then you can see that um, this filter was a set here. You can um, delete it as well, for instance. You can visualize it. Um, and like a chart, for instance. Um, and but first of all, you have to choose the the, the proper data. So um, so you have a, a, a lot of uh, different possibilities which you can use to you know make your uh, data pretty a little bit more nice, nicer. And um, what you can also do is you can also use um, Tableau here. It's also actually not so bad. It opens a new window um, at your local host. And you can also do some data preparation as well. So after it was um, loaded, you have a nice table. As you can see here, you can also do some um, sorting stuff. You can um, apply some filter, like you can say um, the value should be um, higher than 10 or something like this. Um, yeah, so you can do some stuff here. Um, and what you can also do, which I really find interesting, um, was you can uh, plot everything. You know, if you, if you say I want to do uh, after on the x, x, after time, on the y, x, I have the value and I'm taking out the filter again. So you can see there's there's some data. Um, you can zoom in, you know, um, to some uh, data pre-processing and visualization. Um, so it's like an EDA, as you can say. Um, for this, you can even download the plot and image. Um, I think it's really nice so far um, the um, tableau as well um, and 
What you can also use is you, if you like pivot tables, you can use pivot tables JS. Um, if you're um, showing this, you have um, you can aggregate even you can put the sum of the value, the maximum of the value, or something like this. You can choose choose your value. You can put the time dimension on the x x or on the y x as you wish. Um, it has it supports the drag and drop function. You have filter as well here, so you can see I can uh, choose or um, select, deselect some stuff. So it's pretty handy. It's nice, nice to use. Then we have your uh, Qcurrit. It's something similar. Um, you can basically also show a widget. It's also probably just a um, JavaScript widget, and you can uh, preview it in a um, almost um, full screen. And then you can also, you know, filter stuff. You can um, basically um, do some data processing and data preparation on your data set, which is really nice. Um, yes, and but what I really find interesting was um, Minto. It's an um, application, also like a data preparation tool, which you can use, uh, where you can also do some um, visualization. Um, but it's only um, you can only start it in your Jupyter lab, and there you are just go to um, import uh, Mito sheet and. Then a sheet will be a plot, like as, as you can see it here. It's like a small preview of the data set as well, where you can also apply some filters. I really like it um, because, you know, you can do your basic stuff like before. But the thing is, which, you, which is really handy, is that you are, if you go below, um, um, special code will be written for you. And then you can copy and paste it and use, and use it in other um, of your projects. So if you can see here, if I'm filtering out now um, at a filter, then um, greater than 20, let's say, it will filter this and then it will uh, generate here um, a filtered data set, which you can see here, why is uh, greater than 20 and so on. It's, so it generates the code for you. You can um, import some um, news uh, files. You can um, basically do also the full screens real nice. Um, you can import or export stuff. Um, you can um, show the graph. So here you can use the X and Y X and um, plot the graph. You have basically um, pivot table as well, which you can uh, actually apply. And by clear, go back in the previous state. This is why, again, um, you know, you can do basic stuff. You can add the column if you are calculating something. So it's pretty handy as well. And um, yeah, the code you can use, of course, um, here. The code will be in the description as well. Then you can also. Um, Try it by yourself and then, yeah, let me know what is your favorite so far. Um, do you have some data preparation tools, uh, some data visualization um, add ins uh, for Jupyter Notebook? Uh, let me know, write me in the comments, and see you soon.